Hi there, Miss Jenny here from the Southwest location, bringing you another uh, CRCC Learning at Home Together video. Today we are going to do some spray bottle art. Um, we're going to let our creativity flow, and I'm doing this outside because it could get a little messy. So the items you're going to need today is I have two spray bottles. You can use as many as you want. You're going to need some washable paint. I've got the colors red and orange. You are going to need a piece of paper to do your art on. And since we're outside and it can be a little windy out here, I just got a brick from the side of my house and I'm going to set it down and have it hold my paper so the wind doesn't blow it away. Ask your mom and dad to help you if it's something heavy. So with our spray bottle art today, there, there's some steps you're going to want to take. And so what we're going to do is I have my spray bottle filled up with some water. I'm going to open it up and I'm going to put some of the washable paint in there. You're just going to give it a few, few drops of, of paint in there and then you're going to put the lid back on. Make sure it's really nice and tight and you're going to give it a little shake. See what you have there is you have orange water now. So then we're going to do it with the red. Now I'm going to put a little less red in this one and we're going to see what happens. What do you think is going to happen if I put a little less paint in this one? Is the color going to be more or less? Now while I'm doing this, in the link below there is a book called A Splash of Red. And who doesn't love a splash of red color? And it's a book about a boy named Horace. And Horace loves to draw and make art. And you know, I find that pretty awesome because Miss Jenny here loves to do art and be creative with that stuff. So now that we got our paint in there, we're gonna give it a little shake. And you watch it turn colors right before your eyes. And Horace uses his art and his love of drawing to make people happy. And, and sometimes he uses a splash of red. So, I'm going to use my spray bottle and I'm just going to give it a spray. Got to get it going. It's a brand new spray bottle. Might help if you turn it on. So you just give it a little spray. Oh, there goes the water. So now what you're going to do is you're going to spray it onto your paper and you're going to watch what happens. Good job. Oh, I see my colors on there. I think it's time for a splash of red. This one's not as misty. So this one has a stream instead. That's what happens. So you're going to squirt your bottles. I'm going to try this one. I would recommend better bottles because as you can see my spray bottles have stopped working. And that's okay. You can just tap it out. Put it back on. And try again. Now, some spray bottles aren't going to work. That's okay. You can, you can use this any way you want to. So, I'm going to take it out. I'm just going to tap some water on there and see what happens. You can flick it with your fingers. All different things you can do with it. The spray bottles don't work. Oh, there it went. There went one. That's okay, like I said. I'm just going to dip my finger in there and I'm going to splash it like this. Because you know what? Art is all about being creative and finding different ways to create it. And this is what you have. You have some spray bottle art. Even if it doesn't work, that's okay. And now you're going to let this dry. And you can do many different things with this. I like to cut mine up into shapes and hang them on our window so people can see them outside when they're walking by. Um, you can use different colors as well. 
and you can even mix your colors up and see what colors you can make. So if you were gonna mix red and blue together, you would get purple water. So I would suggest mixing some colors up together and you can even create your favorite color. Um, and in this book, um, A Splash of Red, Horace has to go through a lot and he keeps going and he doesn't give up. And that's a good thing for everybody to do is to never give up. So um, I hope you enjoy our spray bottle art. Um, and I hope that your day is filled with joy, hope, and health. Thanks for watching our Learning at Home Together video, and we'll see you next time. Thanks. Bye-bye. Thank you.